Um, I'm doing this as a truth seeker, as a lover, as someone that wants to, you know, change the world. But in order to change the world, I have to change myself. I can't just tell everybody, hey, I'm here to change the world. No, what are you willing to bring forward to the table, you know? And it starts with healing myself, loving myself. Be the change you want to see. And I'm doing it now. I want to be the change I want to see. I'm speaking this out. I don't care how many followers I have or why, or any, anybody's barely watching. I know that time will come. Right now I'm doing this for me. I'm doing what makes me feel good. This makes me feel good getting uh, getting here after work and, and pulling out this laptop and, and uh, connecting the speaker, connecting the headphones and, you know, speaking into this mic and letting my truth out, letting my... Letting my my seven chakras align to speak into this mic to make me feel cosmic, to make me feel ancient, to make me feel ancient celestial, ancient celestial and vibratory. Ain't no better feeling, man. Ain't no better feeling. Ain't no better feeling, man. I swear. So I'm here. I'm here. And I'm not letting my foot off this gas. I ain't doing it for nobody but myself. I have people that look up to me and whatnot. But who do I do this for at the end of the day? They can tell me they want it from me and whatnot, but what I want for myself, I want this. I want this. So yeah, I'm I'm here telling you these things that I've learned over myself over these times through sports, through daily life, and even I would say even today having these thoughts of ah, this sucks or why does it have to be like this or why is this happening? What is this person thinking? Do they even care? Does anybody see my effort? I had to like tune all that in, all right, and like breathe, like really breathe and understand, like this is up to me. This is up to me to realize what a, what am I gonna do with all these thoughts that are kicking in my head? Yeah, some of them may be true, but who's to who is to say? I don't know what this other person is thinking. I don't I don't know what that next situation is. All I can do right now is focus on what's ahead, whether it's sitting, sitting and and. And I'm um, waiting for that next moment. And when I say sitting, I'm not saying just doing no action. But I mean, I could be traveling like, okay, I'm taking a seat as I travel. I- I'm in New York, so I'm taking the metro and whatnot. I'm sitting down in my seat and, and tuning in to what's around me. I'm that's my That can be my meditation. Meditation can be in any way, any form. And that's my meditation. I'm silencing my mind. Like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not worried about what's next or what do I have to do or... Ah, what's what's it got to be this way? It's got to be that way. No, I'm just breathing. I'm letting things be for what they are. So that that's one way. Silence in my mind and realizing whatever comes in that next moment, it'll come. What if that person isn't thinking me of that way? And which I and which I do. Should I take it personal? Even if they do, no, I shouldn't. Because everybody's thoughts of you is a, is an opinion of of what's what's that saying? I yeah, I am what you think I am. You know, hold up. I, you, I am what you. Yeah, I am what you think I am. Am I saying that right? <laughs> well, I am what you think I am. Yeah, because it's like everybody has their own perception. So, are you confident in yourself enough to not give a damn, get or give a fuck what what people think of you? Are you are you confident enough to move on and and say, oh, oh great, you think I'm this way? Oh great, I'm so. I'm so in love with myself that I honestly don't give a damn what you think about me. I'm confident and enough to know myself and love myself to where um, I believe I am this person. I know what I'm bringing to the table. If you're not doing anything shady or wicked or bad, I mean, what is there to say? What is there to doubt about yourself? What is there to 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 talk down about yourself upon? If you feel confident you're walking in love and light, I mean, hey, hey, what regret should you have? I get every day is a learning process, but through that, let us love, let us continue to smile, let us cherish our our, our moments of peace, of gratitude, and, and silence in our minds, and, and realizing what's before us. Whatever's going to come, whatever's meant to be, it'll be. When instead of looking at things as, why is this happening to me? Uh, I mean, seriously, though, why, why is this happening to me, man? Uh, why? No, switch that mindset. And by the way, when I say man, I'm I'm not just talking to my guys, you know, or my gods, and I'm talking to the goddesses as well. Yes, ladies, I'm talking to you as well. This this podcast, by the way, yeah, it's not just for the the men out there. This is for ladies and gentlemen. So, and gods and goddesses and queens and and kings. This is for you guys. I don't just do this for one person, one one people. No, I do this for do this for everybody to take a tune in. Don't get me wrong. I, when I say people, I do put my my so-called black people first. 
Um, uh, as me being a melanated carbon man, I mean, hey, it just be what it be. I think that's wrong. Is it? As a as a as a white person uh, or Caucasian, I should say European, uh, don't you want to stick to don't you stick to your family first naturally? That's just uh, that's automatic DNA, ancient vibes. The Indians they look out for the Indians. The Chinese they look out for the Chinese. The Jap- Japanese they look out for the Jap the Japanese. The list goes on. I mean that's natural vibratory. I'm not being uh, I'm not being racist or anything. No, it's just natural to me. If you ask me, I got love for all people. I do, but when it comes to my brothers and my sisters. We not only had it bad in a in a sense, and I get everybody has their own history, but I mean we got we got our own history of course, right? And you and you and I feel like a lot of you guys know that history. Of course, the bad I should say, but there's good in our history too. But uh, that bad of like knowing what we've been through and whatnot, we gotta stick together. So I love my brothers and my sisters, and I give them love, you know, first and foremost. And um, yeah, but nah, everybody can take this podcast too. Um, you know, so called Europeans, uh, I got love for y'all too. Japanese, Chinese, Indians, um, Hawaiians, uh, <laughs> you name it, man. Y'all out there. So, yeah, I send this, I send this love to everybody. Everybody. Catch, it, catch your own vibe. Catch your own way. And I'm sending love to everybody's way. But, um, yeah, back to where I was. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> I was saying, um, why is this happening to me, man? Um, yeah, instead of saying that, you know, um, Instead, switch switch your mindset to why is this happening to me and start seeing start seeing and saying, oh this is happening for me. So what what is happening for you? What is happening for you is everything is naturally aligning, by the universal divine creator, is happening for you because you're setting. He's I said he, you know the divine. I'm so used to saying he back in my past and whatnot, but now it's, it's a God a God and the God is is deeper than a he. The divine masculine, divine feminine, what we carry within ourselves. So I'm happy to admit that because I'm breaking away from that day by day. It's a process of life, and it's something we've been so indoctrinated in. Oh, he, he, he. Who says he's a he? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So the divine creator is setting you up to to show you that this is happening for you. Not to, um. Hold up. Yeah, this is happening for you, not against you. This is for you. So why is this happening to me instead of saying this is happening for me? Am I saying this right? My gosh, this is a little bit of a for me's and to me's and against me's. <laughs> um, yeah, this is happening. Why is this happening? Uh, I'm trying to give me a second here. <laughs> why is this happening to me? Yeah, okay. That's not the one to say. Why is this happening to me? No, that's not the one to say. Okay, switch the mindset, right? And... This is happening. This is happening for me. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this is happening for me. G- give me a second here. I'm gonna pause. Oh, I gotta pause for a second. If I gotta pause, I gotta pause. And pause with me, please. Okay, so not, th- th- this is what you, you're you not going to say. Why is this happening to me? No, you're going to switch that mindset and th- you're going to switch your mindset and say this is happening, this is happening for me, not against me, for me. Switch your mindset to understand that everything is lined up and set for you for a divine purpose by the divine creator, the universal creator. It's all around you, the whole earth, the whole the whole planet and everything and i believe the earth is flat by the way yes that's another story (laughs) um the whole planet is set up to to work in its favor for you nature everything oh why did why did this happen why did this person die in my life everything everything man everything is set set for you for you alone for what's about to happen in your life coming up ahead what's going to happen now everything is set up for a certain reason oh my phone just died it didn't but my phone just died oh that happened for a reason i'm on this mic right now for a reason i don't kind of i honestly don't even feel like i'm in control sometimes like i feel like i'm not just forced to do it but it's naturally happening like i i ha- i i'm doing this for a reason like it needs to be fed to somebody 
And it may happen later, it may happen tomorrow, it could happen, who knows when. But I feel like it needs to be done. And it's like, damn, am I in control here? Looking at my hands, like, damn. And But hey, I don't know, but it, I mean, I, it feels damn good. And I'm thankful for it, I'm gonna continue. But yeah, why is, why, why is this happening to me? No, switch the mindset. This is happening for me. This is setting me up for what's ahead. I'm, I, and, and switch your mindset as well to say I am thankful that this is this is this is being aligned for me. This situation is is in tune for me. This situation is in my favor. Switch your mindset. Everything is set for a reason. You you missed that train. You missed that bus. Your car your car is uh, almost on E. You're late to work. All of it is for a reason. What are the lessons we're we gonna take? Or are we gonna be a victim and say? Oh, this sucks. Why do I have... Why does it have to be like this? <sighs> I'm late. No, find that find that beauty in that... And that, um... In that situation and realize what can you learn from it? What can I... What can I learn from this? What can I do better? What can I change... How can I change this situation? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so saying what can I what can I do better, you know? What what can I do better? What can I do to to change this situation and, and learn from it so I can so I can adapt next time. And say there isn't a next time. Um You know, well let's not even go there because we don't we don't know. So I think I'm taking it too far. Yeah, I'm taking it too far trying to make sense of trying to make sense of trying to make sense. So let me just make sense. <laughs> Get it? Um so yeah. And therefore once you learn how to how to take that situation, you apply it to 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 the next time. And you you apply it to whatever comes ahead. And don't think about what's coming ahead. Just take that situation. Wow, this is what I learned from it. And let your day go on. Don't let that one moment, that one situation ruin your day. There's several seconds in this day. Even though time is limitless, time is is an illusion. I feel like yes, it is. Yes, indeed, it is. And, and if it's not, why is it eight oh eight in the next minute? It's eight oh nine. I'm 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 recording this right now. I'm live. Um, it's eight oh eight p.m. I'm on Eastern Standard Time. And um, yeah, would have. Well, the next the next moment is eight oh nine. Eight oh nine. Are you in control of that? Who who's in control of this time? Oh well, uh, the 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 universe. You know. The universe. This is all. It's, it's all a clock. The sun is a clock. The moon is a clock. Everything is limitless. This, it's all in tune though. It's all in tune. But I, I believe yeah, it's an illusion to where we we feel like we're bound by this clock. Be in tune with nature. Wake up when the sun is up. Go to sleep when the moon is down. Be in tune with nature. Stop going against it. Up, the sun is up. I'm going to sleep. What? What are you thinking? Get out, get off these night shifts, man. Get off these, these uh. These uh, twilight zone shifts Alright man I'm working night shift You're going against the rhythm of the earth It's not healthy for you It's not Start switching your mindset Start being in tune with nature Eating the right foods Your thoughts will come in in tune too For Food is the original human food We're naturally frugivores And I must believe a, an episode And a podcast show will be coming on about that We're naturally frugivores I love fruit I love it I love it and the more I um I don't eat enough of it, the more I see I'm like, wow, I feel dehydrated or my thoughts don't feel as uh as cosmic. They don't feel like they're flowing. The more fruit I eat, I'm like, damn, I feel ancient, celestial, I feel vibratory. So yeah, make that make that switch. Go plant based. You're not supposed to be eating meat. No, you can't how do you expect to get euphoric thoughts and positive thoughts eating dead food? Yeah, man, I'm sleepy, man. I'm full, man. I'm uh, I finna take a nap. Oh, this sucks. What the fuck? All these stupid thoughts, all these low vibrational thoughts. Bruh, you're eating the wrong food. You're not in tune with the earth. You're cooking your food to death. You're frying it. Your, your organs can't breathe. I mean, come on. Raw, raw fruits and vegetables all day. And if you can't get there yet, that's okay. At least go whole food plant-based. Start eating your food and and, and cooking I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of cooking. Yeah, I still have some cooked food, but I'm not a big fan of cooking. 
But if you're going to cook your food, use alkaline organic.